Today I have with me the Suzuki GSX S1000 and the Triumph Speed Triple and I thought I was going to do this comparison with large engine, brutal, sporty, naked motorcycles. Trouble is, they're extremely different from each other, they feel really different to ride and you can't really compare them. The Suzuki is obviously the new motorcycle here. The engine is based on a 10-year-old design, but Suzuki gave it an all-new chassis, adjustable suspension, ABS and their excellent new three-stage traction control system. As we said last week, that's all on the up and up, except for the stock setting of the front suspension, which is too stiff for our roads and makes this extremely rapid motorcycle a bit too lively on less than perfect roads. And the star of the show, of course, is its brilliant engine. The S1000 is based on a sports bike and you can tell that mostly from the engine and it's obvious as soon as you get on the motorcycle. So the sports bike, the liter class sports bike is typically an inline 4 displacing around 1000cc and that's the motor that this thing derives from. And you can sense that immediately because it makes a lot of torque and then a lot of horsepower. A smaller motor like a 600cc inline 4 would not be able to do that, just make a lot of power at the top and you have to rev it like all the time. This thing, very very well made sport naked because that engine derives perfectly from its history, the K5 was spectacular and that makes this almost scary in terms of how fast it goes. The Speed Triple is a man's motorcycle and it's a legend in Triumph history and I understand why now. Because is almost nothing that it will do without you really putting lots of effort into it. But when you do, then it, the way it responds, the way it picks up power, for example, or turns, is surprising because of how heavy the motorcycle feels. It's a very old school way to do motorcycles, but then again, it's old school. It's also very different. The three-cylinder engine sounds and feels very different to the Suzuki's four. The Suzuki has that rounded howl that we associate with force. The triple is more gruff at the bottom and in the mid revs there's an almost melodious interlude before the higher revs bring a more aggressive and a harder roar. The triple is also marginally less smooth but a 7R ride earlier this year proved that that is a feeling and not a problem and it makes the engine feel slightly more personable. It is less powerful than the S1000 but trust me that's not really that big of a deal. When you've got more than 120 PS on tap, whether this is an inline 3 and that's an inline 4, all of these things don't really matter. But can you really use the power? I think the state of tune where the suspension is concerned for the Speed Triple is in terrific shape because it's not wallowy, I would not call it plush, but it knows exactly what to do in our conditions and you can ride this thing really hard even over fairly broken roads. It's an act that the Suzuki finds really difficult to follow. The weight difference between the Speed Triple and this motorcycle is about 7 to 10 kilos but when you ride it you think the Triumph is significantly heavier and that's one of the ways in which the Suzuki shows how new a design it is and how much of an older design the Speed Triple is. That's not meant as a criticism, it is meant as an idea of how different motorcycle design is now. So what has changed primarily is we understand better how to do mass centralization now than we did back then. So the Speed Triple places its exhaust under the seat, it's an old school idea that has been moved on because that places one heavy object very far from the centre of gravity. This motorcycle is everything is in one vertical stack, so the heavy fuel tank airbox, under that the engine, under that the exhaust, it's all very close to the centre of gravity. The difference it makes is when you start trying to turn this motorcycle or make it respond to what you're doing, it is extremely light on its feet and not really like a 200 kilo motorcycle. If I had to say that the seat of fans scale, I think this would weigh about 150 kilos. It shaves 50 kilos in sensation just by placing the masses better. They're about a lakh of rupees apart in price, they're both fast naked motorcycles, what's not to compare? In sum, one's a new design, one's an old one, one's an icon, the other one could be in the future, the Triumph's a three-cylinder, the Suzuki has four, the Triumph looks big and seats you tall and the Suzuki's the opposite. 
I can't remember the last time I had a day on a motorcycle that was this kind of mind bending. It's it's really these motorcycles are completely different from what you expect them to be. So that it's an old design requires a lot of effort to get everything done. But once you find your confidence, get used to handling that kind of weight and power. My God, that thing is so capable. That is the exact opposite. It's new school. Nothing requires effort. It's almost always too quick. But there's traction control to back you up. If you were to ask me which of these to buy, I'd say pick your flavor of madness and whichever flavor works for you. Pick one, you'll be happy.